we're stripping down a Mazda T2 T6 0571 distributor piece by piece so you can see how it works, how to service it, and what fails when things go wrong. Let's dive in. This distributor assembly is used on older versions of the Mazda Demio. It's also compatible with the 323 and Familia models. Start by removing the distributor cap. There are two Phillips screws, one on each side. Loosen them evenly and lift the cap straight off. This exposes the rotor underneath. It's not held in with screws. You'll need a flathead screwdriver to gently pry it up. Next, remove the dust shield sitting just beneath the rotor. It's held in place by a single center screw. Remove it carefully to access the components below. Remove the trigger wheel. Now we'll remove the distributor ignition module. This is the brain of the ignition system and it's mounted inside the distributor housing. Remove the two screws holding the module in place. Then lift it out carefully. These components can be fragile, especially with age. With the ignition module out of the way, we can now remove the ignition coil. It's seated inside the housing and held down by three small screws. Due to heat exposure and age, the ignition module and pickup coil are common failure points on a distributor. Symptoms are no spark, rough starts, or misfires. It's a good idea to replace both when repairing your distributor. Flip the distributor assembly on its side and use a flathead screwdriver to gently pry the coil loose. You might need a little leverage but be gentle to avoid cracking the housing. And that's the full strip down of the Mazda. T2 T6 0571 distributor assembly. From cap and rotor to the ignition coil and control module, you've now seen how everything fits together.
and what to watch out for when servicing or replacing parts. If you found this helpful, feel free to drop any questions in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more hands-on breakdowns like this.